Good morning, friends. Coffee again. Good morning, good morning. Welcome. Welcome to my channel. I'm Bernadine. My channel's name is How the Hook Turns. I live out in West Texas. This is my little craft room. I'm going to have to cut my hair, obviously, soon. Either cut it or do something with it because it's getting too long. Too long for some things, too short for others, if you know what I mean. You know, that stage while well, I'm there. Anyway, good Friday morning to you. Ooh, I've been up since 3 o'clock. Puppies, mama dog. The, the, the dog ate the cat food last night sometime during the night. Drank all their water. They were hungry, so they were in there at the cabinet trying to open it to get to their treats. I keep the treats under the sink. It's all cleaned out under there. I'm not planning on piling it back up with stuff. So, since I got my new faucet, I've just kept it clean under there. I don't want a bunch of stuff under there. So, they know where their treats are, and they were going for them. And we have a rub we have a, a rubber bands around the handles because the doors open like this. There's no latch on them, so they're all wooden cabinets. So I just took a rubber band and put around the two knobs where you can't open the doors. But they were trying. They were going plop, and every time they would pull back and it would snap shut. Well, you get the picture, right? <laughs> oh my goodness. But it's okay. I don't have to get out and go to work today. I can take a nap, right? Sure. Anyway. Coffee. Grab you a drink, friends. Get something to drink. I don't know what time you're watching it. If you'd like soda, get you... Oh, my hair is bothering me. Get you some soda, coffee, tea, water, flavored water, whatever grab a project because we're going to talk about some projects and some other things so look here my friends i have one panel finished on my uh project that i'm working on from cinnamon stitches tutorial yeah and i have started the other one i have been busy friends you may not see me on camera but i've been to crocheting and this is the start of my second one. Yeah. And I'm loving this hook. I'm loving this hook. Smooth sailing, friends. Smooth sailing. I just wish they, they weren't so pricey. I'm not happy about their prices. And I'm not happy about them raising their prices. <laughs> Go to the grocery store and look on each side of the aisle and shake my head. How do people do it? I don't know. Anyway, I'm here, friends, for a chat and a crochet. And I got a few things I want to talk to you about. Yes, I do. Who out there has the dots hook? Leave me a comment about that. There are not that many reviews on Dot's Hooks. Cause I, I know because I looked. So if you have an opinion on those, tell me. The reason I'm asking, I'm always on the look for the perfect hook. <laughs> I think I found it in these metal streamlined furls. For me, maybe not for everybody else, but for me. I love the way they feel in my hand. I love the way they go in and out of the yarn. I just love them. And I have sizes 5 or an H hook. I have size 5.5 or an I hook. And I have size 6.0 millimeter, which is the J hook. And I think I'm getting... A 4.5 and a 4. Just so I'll have them. Because I believe I'm stuck on these. Stuck on them. 
but they're stuck on me, one or the other. Uh, so if you have those hooks, shoot me a comment. Shoot me a comment anyway. Tell me what y'all are doing. Tell me what the weather's like at your place. Woo, we're getting some cool weather heading our way. It's already here, friends. That wind is whipping out there. Mama dog wanted out. Well, that's one reason I got awake. Three o'clock. It is now 6.30. And she came back in about 20 minutes ago. Uh, and the puppies are... My chubber, chubbers are growing. I'm getting about ready to take some photos of those little pipsqueaks and put them on here for y'all to see. I might do that later today. I thought I'd put them in this little basket. I don't know if they'll all fit. Okay, they're <laughs> getting big. This is the cat's bed that I made. And I think I will bring them in here. Because when you disturb the little chubbers, they go everywhere looking for that mama. So they're not stationary. <laughs> so we'll see what happens. I don't know, but I'm going to try. Because I know y'all would love to see them, right? I'd love to show them to you. So before we get into the crochet, I want to welcome everyone back who's my subscribers and anyone who hasn't, I invite you to subscribe. It's free and uh, hit the notification bell. You'll know when I put out a video. Uh, I was MIA for a few days because of this time change, I'm thinking. And uh, anyway, I'm feeling more like myself and I put a video out yesterday, and here I am again. And uh, well, I just wanted to chat and talk to you, friends. Um, so, let's put your heads down. Let's put your heads down, and let's look at this. Let me move the one I've completed so I don't get them mixed up. Now, I am on my one, two, three, fourth ball of yarn, okay? I'm just nervous. I like to get it. I like to have plenty of yarn. This is 153 yards of skein. That's not very much, friends. But I'm hoping I bought six, and I'm hoping that'll do it. So anyway, I I know this will take. Maybe this will finish this front panel. I'm not sure. We'll see. We'll see. I don't know. We'll just see how it all works up. So, friends, I'm going to put your heads down, okay? Let's put your heads down. I hope my lighting is sufficient today. Let me push y'all back just a little. Okay. I think we're good. I think we're golden, okay? Isn't that a saying? Okay. So, Update on our little corner of the world here in West Texas. Have y'all been watching the news and uh, seeing that there is a bad snowstorm that came down to Colorado and New Mexico? Well, I think I mentioned it on my last video yesterday. And I've been watching it. So... Today, the high is 50, and the winds will be blowing, and it's supposed to be raining. Oh, yeah, raining. Whoops, let's see. Wait a minute. Now, see? I haven't picked this up today. i got to think a minute. All right, what am I supposed to be doing? Okay, okay, what am I supposed to be doing is slip stitching... Not double crocheting, Bernadine slip. Not slip, but double crochet. <laughs> Coffee. Okay. So I'm going to chain three. Okay, now I'm headed in the right direction, friends. Okay. I've been watching the weather. And it's supposed to start raining today here, which is rare but needed uh, about 10 o'clock and rain till early afternoon then it's supposed to stop and 
and the wind's supposed to be blowing and it's gonna be chilly and then it's gonna get freezing tonight then tomorrow well early in the wee hours about three o'clock it's supposed to start raining again and rain most of tomorrow with cold temperatures so as long as we don't get any snow I guess I'm happy. We need rain, friends, but as I've said before, when that happens, whoops, when that happens, we can't get out of our driveway. We can get out of the driveway. We can't get down the road, okay? Yeah. Oh, I'm all over the place with this video. I'm going to get back and talk about the dots hooks. I mentioned them and asked who has them. And like I said, I'm always on the lookout for that magic crochet hook. I should have named my channel the magic crochet hook. <laughs> I think it would have been more appropriate. Uh, anyway. So the reviews I did see, I saw a few mixed reviews. I think I only saw four or five. A couple of mixed reviews, and then I saw a couple of good reviews. So, I'm thinking about biting the bullet and getting them. So, if y'all would hit me up about what you think about them. I keep wanting to double crochet on here, my friends. This is not a double crochet project. This is all single crochet, except when you get to the very end of the, of the, where you started, then you, and end, then you do a one double crochet. So it's pretty easy. Anyway, if y'all have had those hooks, please let me know. I'm, I'm really interested. One, two, three, four, five. I'm losing track of my count. <laughs> you know, it doesn't hurt to try new things. Do I need the crochet hooks? No. Do I want the crochet hooks? Maybe. Big friends. I guess I don't have any over here, but I might. This. Let me show you this, friends. I'm going to make this the hook of the day because I want to show you a little bit about it. Notice the uh, hook head. I hope you can see it there got a point on it and I love points well I got this thing turned crooked get back up here maybe you can see that yeah this is an old fire hook okay friends this is a furl streamline I want to show you how this hook works on this this, this yarn The thing going for this hook is the point. It has a little bit of a jerk back when I pull through when I'm doing the uh, chains. Now, it makes beautiful stitches, but it's a little... A little hard to pull through sometimes. So I'm just not sure. You see my little bit of trouble I'm having? Whereas I take this furls, streamlined metal, all metal. Easier. It's just easier. So, I 
guess I said the gold standard is the clover, and I stand by that. But my gold standard might be these metal furrow streamline hooks. I can get some speed up with this thing. Whoops, that is not a double crochet. That's why I love them so much. They are just smooth as anything. Makes beautiful stitch work, uniform, beautiful. I just thought I'd give y'all a little demo there. Yeah, it's pretty cool. So I'm already half halfway through the almost well over halfway through the my return row. So yeah, I really like this furls hook. They're just too expensive, friends. It, it matters to me. We're on a fixed income here. I'm sure many of my friends out there are also. Yeah. And this, this yarn is so nice to work with. It really, really is. Whoops. Yes, it is. All right. Let me get a little coffee here. An update on my coffee grinder, friends. I think I found a magic the magic amount of coffee beans. I have this little, it's a little, I think it's one ounce, plastic little cup with a handle on it and a spout on the front. Very small. Very small. About that big around. I don't know. You know, an ounce. Like a little shot glass, but not. And uh, yesterday, I put two heaping full, I mean heaping, <laughs> I can't eat that much over, as much as I can over it, okay? One and two, and I believe that that is the magic. Now, I always make 12 cups. That may seem like a lot to you friends out there, but... These coffee cups, they hold a lot of coffee. <laughs> and this is my cup of coffee. And I usually, I, not always, I can't say always, usually have two of those. And then my husband drinks the rest of it. Now see, I lost count. I have trouble counting those single crochets. Once they're made, Okay, friends. Anyway, yesterday, today, and I hope from now on the coffee turned out great. But I'm still having to make two batch, grind two different separate batches because that coffee, I wish I'd have brought it in here. Uh, next time I'm going to show you my coffee grinder that I got off of Amazon. So you'll know what I'm speaking of. Anyway, what are y'all, what's y'all's plans for the weekend? We might go to church Sunday if we can get out of here. Because it's supposed to be raining today and tomorrow. 
we missed last Sunday. This time changed. <laughs> Did I sin? I don't like it. I don't like it at all. But there's no sense in complaining too much about it because it's not going to change. Not anytime soon. And one of my subscribers told me I was correct. The only two states that doesn't have, doesn't abide and, uh, and do participate in the daylight savings time is Hawaii and, and Arizona. Yeah. So they're lucky out there. They don't have to try to adjust to something new. You know, I basically don't like new things. I'm old and I like old things, okay? I think I've said that before. I'm old and I like old things. Now here's where you do your double crochet up at the end of the row. Yeah. And then you put some chains on it and you're good to go back down the other way. Yeah, friend, so that's what she's a looking like. Yeah. So I think what I'll be doing this weekend, I still haven't got to work on the pantry and crochet. Those are my two things to do. Work and work and happiness. Work and happiness. Work and happiness. <laughs> Yay for crochet, right? <laughs> yay, yay, yay. Okay, friends. I'm going to put you back up here. I just wanted to stop in and invite you to chat and crochet this morning. Come see my work in progress. WIP, work in progress. I'm going to have a FO pretty soon or finished object. And I'm looking forward to that. So friends, I really don't have a lot for you this morning. I just wanted to come on here, tell you how much I care about you. I love each and every one of you. Thank you again for spending a little time with me this morning. I hope uh, you grabbed a project and something to drink and you just sat there while I chattered away, okay? Um, my little show in West Texas is over and I love y'all. God loves you. And I will catch you next time. And for now... It's a wrap. Bye, my friends.